Hello everyone, welcome back to Too Much Bricks, this is Kyle, and today is yet again another Lego City update. This is for August 2020. I know it is very late, um, I was just backed up on a lot of things as far as uploads wise um, of different types of videos that I wanted to do and was doing. Um, so I have finally been able to um, actually make this video and actually get it uploaded, so I'm very happy about that. Now, as I said, I've been working on a new Mandalorian mock, uh, Star Wars Mandalorian mock that is coming along well, as well as some collabs, set reviews, other little mock tips, other mocks, and gaming, Lego Legacies, um, as well as my stop motion, and other things that isn't, that are, is not related to the channel. Getting ready for my school that is coming up very soon, as well as a lot of other stuff, so I've just been very busy lately. So I haven't really had time and also the need to actually work on the Lego City. As I said, the the error of the Lego City, um, of the timeline, as I like to call it, of the Lego City, or the age of the Lego City is kind of coming to a halt. Um, but you can click my channel icon, go to playlists. I have all my playlists of mocks there as well as Lego City updates. So you can watch them all to see the progression of the actual city. But uh, we'll be heading over there in a minute to kind of show you, give you a little refresh of what it looks like and some more plans that I have for it um, so with this new monthly thing I've been doing um, you can go back and watch June 2020 July 2020 and now August 2020 um, and the reason I'm doing that is just so you everyone can get a better feel for how the city has been growing month by month and yeah that pretty much wraps up all the news I do want to say subscribe drop a like if you haven't head on over to my cousin Ava's channel Ava Grace subscribe to her give her a bunch of support as well as my cousin Anthony's channel AGL Studios and without further ado let's get into it Alright everyone, so here is the Lego City. Again, for those of you who were up to date with the last update, I believe it was in July. So it has been a while since my camera has been looking at this. <laughs> but um, very small changes here and there. I believe a couple of the last updates were happening in that corner as I started to add some more details there. Not much has really changed. Uh, to be honest, I've gotten actually some feedback on this beach. But we'll get into actual thoughts and plans in a minute. Just added a couple of minifigures over there. Still got the museum. Moving in to where the train is. And I got some sad news about the train. But we'll get to that in a minute. And as well as the strip down here, I've added flowers here and there. You know, just to make it look a little bit more colorful. But again, I'm very happy with how it looks. Residential area in the back. Getting into the police station. It brings us back to where we left off. So first of all, getting into the sad news about the train. My train does not run correctly. I am not sure exactly what's going on. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, so you still have the remote. I think it's because it hasn't been run ran in a while. Um, I haven't really been you know messing around with it as much. Uh, the tracks might be dirty. I might just need to take the, um, the whole thing off the tracks and kind of dust and clean it out a little bit. Because um, when I turn it on, it just gets like it makes a very weird weird sound and it won't really run correctly as smooth as it normally would but you know it's okay I guess um, once I actually get this into a more permanent spot than right here because I mean it's kind of ends in a odd place really along the sidewalk really and then just goes around and hits a wall which is going on forever just like this road is keeps going on which I'm fine with that but that is just temporary um, this whole city I wouldn't say is temporary but might be going under another change drastically like this table will be empty not because I'm moving or anything just like that just for a rebirth to see what I can do because I've been working in a kind of like a tight space of big changes here and there but I think if I just swipe my chessboard clean and kind of just restart um, I can get the train because I have a bunch a bunch of track actually in that drawer over there um, so I could maybe run it around the city so it can go in a continuous loop maybe even through but again that would be a definitely a big project for another summer um, I just definitely think with this year of school coming up that it would be difficult uh, especially with this whole coronavirus uh, thing um, you know the whole virus as I said different types of routines for school other other types of things you know work and everything so as I said I think it would be a little difficult to actually do that 
drastic of a change. Like, you know, during these couple of months, I mean, even for a weekend job, you know, we'll, we'll see, maybe, hopefully. But I would say, again, that's definitely a summer thing. And I do have a couple days left, but I do have other uploads I want to get out. So I definitely think that this is it for now. Um, so yeah, that was the bad news about the train, sadly. But if you haven't seen my review on that, definitely be sure to go check that out. Now, getting into some potential changes that I might want to make, I actually am thinking of completely redesigning this museum. I have updated that um, recently. I believe that is that was in another LEGO City update, but I mean like a complete redesign. I definitely want to give it an actual floor because the floor is actually the base plate, but I kind of want to give it its own uh, floor with plates and, and whatnot so it can actually um, be maybe even taken off easier. Um, I think that that would be the, the best way to do a redesign. Again, it would probably consist of just the building, not really the stuff around it, possibly. But uh, as far as the beach goes, changes with that, potentially actually cutting it down the middle and shorten it to just uh, a one base plate wide and two base plate two base plates long instead of two base plates wide and and then two base plates long um if you get what i mean because this is one base plate this is one there's one over there there's one over there so it's it's too wide and too long so i've gotten some feedback saying it's too big <laughs> but um i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below do you like this beach do you like it this big would you like it smaller would you like a complete redesign or whatever you guys want please put it in the comment section down below your feedback is crucial and i'm always happy to see it and as far as this goes potentially might be redesigning uh, this whole land strip here, I might just take the whole thing off because I actually do want to get better Lego blue base plates. Um, I actually do have a couple underneath the table here. Um, this is a different color. This is more of a darker blue, and I might actually want to go with that opposed to like you know just a bright um, Lego City blue. So you could see the the difference in color there. So I might want to get a couple of those, but these are the most common ones in, you know, the Lego stores that I personally go to. So I might just pick up three more of these to actually put into here because the ones on there, sadly, are not official Lego. I'm not exactly sure what brand they are, so they do not connect to my other official Lego base plates, and it's just the blue base plate, so that causes a lot of, um, you know, trouble along the line here as far as the dock and everything else. So I might just want to do that and also stray away from using those blue um, plates to kind of represent ripples in the water and actually move on to maybe some actual tiles or maybe even with the studs because I like how that looks instead of using the actual blue plates. And aside from that, that's really all the changes I have in mind. Now, as I said, there hasn't been a lot of changes to the actual LEGO City itself, but I did remember I did something, and I'm not sure if I put it in a LEGO City update, but just for the sake of it, I did end up putting Iron Man in the donut. For those of you who have seen Iron Man 2, just thought that could be a funny reference. But yeah, that pretty much completes it for Lego City Update, August 2020. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I do hope you found this helpful if you spotted any cool building techniques. If you did, leave it down in the comment section down below. As I said, your feedback is crucial. As I said, let me know, do you think you like that beach? Would you like it shorter? Would you like a redesign? As well as your opinion on any other things you spotted in the LEGO City. Also, what do you think about me redesigning that museum? As I mentioned earlier in the video, um, I think that that could be a cool project, as well as the major redesign of the entire city. So, again, all that in the comment section down below it would definitely help. Uh, subscribe if you have not. Subscribe to my cousin Ava's channel, Ava Grace, and I suggest you click my channel icon and go to channels. You will see all the channels I am subscribed to and subscribe to her via there, just because um, there are a lot of Ava Graces out there, so I would say that's the easiest way to actually find the right one. And subscribe to my cousin Anthony's channel, AGL Studios, as well. And follow him on Twitter, at AGL Studios. 
be on the lookout for more uploads as well as Lego City uploads again. Probably going to be getting back to doing more of those, hopefully. If not, there will be a September 2021 coming up soon. So be on the lookout for that as well as more set reviews, mock reviews, and some more Mandalorian mock updates. I've been doing some more work on that, so it's definitely coming along nicely. As well as my schedule, that will be changing soon. I believe I have a um, update and news video coming out to round off the summer because my summer's coming to an end. So an update and news of just a recap of basically everything that's really happened that's major. Um, not obviously everything, but as far as my schedule, that will be included in that video coming up. So stay tuned for that. Um, it'll be going back to its normal um as it used to be when I was doing uploads um, and I had changed it to Monday through Friday for the summer. So it will be going back uh, to Friday and uh, to Sunday. Again, I'll be elaborating more on that on my update and news video. So stay tuned for that. And aside from that, that's pretty much all the news. Thank you all for watching. And remember, you can never have too much bricks. Until we meet again, keep building. Bye for now. <laughs>